Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the fly fish fanatic. Welcome to my tying bench. Today I'll be tying a little booby pattern. Uh, I love this little pattern. Been doing really well with this one for several years now. Um, fairly simple, nothing crazy out of the ordinary, but uh, it's a little uh, flashy little CDC uh, booby. So uh, I will switch over. It's a cool little pattern. So um, today in the vise I have an A-Rex um, Freshwater Series Curved Nymph Barbless um, FW541 in a size 8. Um, I also use the Hens BL599 in a size 8. Um, I just, uh, I'm just, this is the only pack of A-Rex I have, so I'm just uh, using them up. So uh, good hooks. Um, I just prefer the, uh, I prefer the, um, the point on the, on the hens better, the turned in point like that. Um, but uh, either way, they're both good hooks. So that's just a personal preference. So not a, not a, not a crazy one. So um, I'm gonna use a white Zemperfly Nano Silk. The reason I'm using white is because you can, I can color it at the end to any color I want. Not a biggie. Just use a felt on it. So, and then. Uh, if you hear any banging in the background, I apologize. I've got a house being built next door and they're just doing the siding and stuff. So it's, it, it, there's times where it's a little bit, a little bit loud, not crazy. So, but. so I start off like that. I'm going to use some of the uh, Zemperfly uh, Gala and Red Blend. And Zemper Flash. Okay. For the, uh, the tail and the underwing. off just a little piece for the tail I don't want it too too long so just gonna get that in there to start and go to just before the bend I don't want it to go down because I don't want it facing down and then I'm gonna go under and over and under and over I'm gonna cut this off because I'm gonna use this bit for the underwing You'll see when we get to that point. So that's, I like doing that first. It just gives me a bit of a target for my eyes. So now with the eyes, up to you what you like with the eyes. Um, you can take a, a booby tube, right? Just a straight out booby tube for the eyes. Or you can get these pre-made ones like this one here. These are uh, from Rainies, right? These are Rainies pre-made eyes. All right, sorry, I'll see if I can grab that better. Oh, no. So yeah, those are the Rainies pre-made eyes. So it, it, it all depends what you want. Um, here's one that I do. This is one I normally do is with the booby foam, the booby eyes, right? So that's what I'll do on this one as well. So what I'll do is I'll take my booby foam and I'm just gonna cut an angle onto the same side. I'll show you once I've got it cut. So that's what I've done is I've cut both sides like that. And then I'm going to bring that together. And the reason you do that, it's just so it's a little bit thinner on the hook, right? But that's all. And then I'm going to bring it together like this and go over and over loosely a couple of times and tighten it a bit. And then I'm going to grab it from the back after I don't hook my finger and just give it a half a dozen good tight wraps. Still not going to be perfect yet because it is the uh, nano silk and you don't want to go too tight because the nano silk does have a tendency of cutting these softer materials like foam and stuff so you got to build it up slowly okay so this is a uh, if you guys watched any of my other booby photo uh, booby uh, videos this is a, a technique that uh, Gary Hankey came up with and uh out of Alberta, out of uh, Edmonton and it's it's a phenomenal way of tying in the boobies because normally you'd cut these in half right you'd, you'd take a tube like this right and you'd cut it in half and then you'd put it on right well now you've only got half of a tube this way you've got a whole tube so a lot more buoyancy so now I'm going to just lift this up I'll see if I can do it without so up and then I'm going to split in between right and then that's going to go all the way down and then that'll uh, allow me to form my eyes so I'm just going to go all the way down and pull it down a bit and pull it down a bit it's 
just forms that that little eye the booby eyes right so I'm just uh, just takes a bit sometimes sometimes it doesn't work perfect but that's okay just figure eight them on this one didn't work perfect but it's not bad just the way it squished when I went through the center you see it's not a hundred percent but that's okay that's okay it'll it'll be just fine so okay so now I'm gonna come back again and go back over top of that tail just a bit and another wrap just so I can get a little bit more of a body. I'm going to take some red Zemperfly hollow tinsel and just get started. Now if you want you can do like I, I do a, a red and I do one with a silver body as well just so it's a different color and a little bit more shine to it right so right up behind that booby eye lock that down cut that off righty so now what I will do is I will just take that last that little bit of um, flash that I cut off and just I want to lay it in so it's no longer than the tail, so about there. So I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to lay it right in behind those eyes. And actually, you see that I got it, how it's formed, it kind of squishes up against the eye. And there's a reason, because when I pull down, it'll pull in, right? And then I know I've got it locked in properly. Because I don't want to go back on this. I just want to leave it just like that as a bit of an underwing, right? So now I'm going to take two little red CDC feathers and I'm going to stack them on top of each other like that and then I'm going to just grab them by the butts and I'm going to stroke it forward I'm going to create myself a bit of a wing here so about like that so right there I'm going to cut it lay that in and just Make sure that CDC is tied right in there. So, actually, I don't like the way that one went. I'm gonna take that back off. It turned on me. I don't want it like that. Sometimes getting these to stay can be a bit of a bugger, but it's never it really doesn't matter. It's more for my looks right now because I want it to look right for the video and for the pictures but really for the actual tying it doesn't matter if they're not laying 100% right like up up or down right do that and then I took a yellow CDC feather and I cut one side off put it into my material clip do a bit of a Actually, no, I won't do it that way. I'll do a, uh, I'll do a split thread just because I can. Just show you how well this nano silk splits. If once you get and find the flat spot, this stuff splits like crazy well, and it's so strong. So split. Put my. CDC in, in there, let her go, keep that nice and tight, give that a good spin, allow that thread spin to get to the CDC there, and maybe a little bit more just to make sure, so now I'll just right behind the eye there. And just make sure to try to get this stuff to stroke back as best as possible. So just creating a little bit of a of a CDC yellow kind of a hot spot slash collar. So now I just gotta make sure that stuff 
that's the tough part because fingers there we go you saw my finger got caught on that hook <laughs> whatever okay and then back to the front to the eye hold that back put a wrap there take my finishing tool and just do a three or four turn whip finish there dab of uh, head cement and she's I'll, have to, I'll just do a little brush out of the CDC but just underneath there and that'll actually hold help hold that booby foam as well in place so I'm going to take my brush and I'll just take a, a bit of a just to make sure none of those little yellow CDC fibers are caught and that is your finished fly so that's one, and this another version is this one. This is the another version I tie. It's straight red. No, uh, I, I use a red CDC as a collar instead. But uh, other than that, it's exactly the same. Red underwing, red tail, the whole bit, right? So it all depends on what uh, what you want. Um, I like both. Um, uh, I tie them in, in a myriad of colors. I tie them in black. I tie them in red. In yellow and in sunburst, uh, yellow and orange. Um, I tie them in several different colors. So, um, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the little CDC booby. This thing is uh, is really nice. It uh, floats really high, and that CDC helps it float. It's got really good movement, and uh, it's got that 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 little it picks up light particles really really well. So, alrighty, if you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, give her a thumbs up. Uh, if you subscribe, thank you. If you have not. Uh, please consider doing so and we'll uh, see you guys on the next tying video. Tie lines everyone.